finally, as I see it, many in the legal community also suffer from what might be termed uh, the shiny object syndrome, a disease of distraction whereby they focus on those relatively rare occasions where politicians might appear to imperil judicial independence, thereby losing sight of the fact that most politicians, day in, day out, behave in ways that both protect and promote judicial independence. Uh, no, uh, sorry, uh, General, uh, please sit down and be quiet, otherwise we'll have to ask you to leave. You, you be quiet, sir, or we'll ask you to leave. So you be quiet or we will ask you to leave. So I'm suggesting that sometimes lawyers are too quick to focus on the negative and lose sight of the positive. In saying that, I recognise that politicians hold potentially powerful tools that could undermine independence. Ministers could withhold the money necessary for the funding of the courts. MPs could misuse their powers to remove senior judges. And no doubt from time to time some politicians have encroached upon judicial independence, although in our constitutional tradition those encroachments have tended not to be egregious.